Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome again to another meeting. How are did you have a nice weekend so far? Yeah. Yes. yes, good. Good. Daniel, did you have a nice weekend? Yes. Alright, good. <laughs> good. Alright, uh today we have a new speaker. We have Sangun. So first let's start with Sangun. Uh hello, my name is Pak Sanghun. Uh I'm I'm student. Uh, I'm majoring in bio biofiber science. Uh, I'd like to talk, I uh, speak uh, English, so I attend here. Uh, yesterday I got a phone, mm, but everybody called me uh, a woman who married. <laughs> uh, but it doesn't matter uh, to mm, express uh, it doesn't matter to me because uh, it's not related to explain exp express uh, the position of the man uh, give given God yeah so I'm happy <laughs> so I glad to ev everybody I glad to meet everybody and um, I will I will go. <laughs> I will go downstairs uh, after 10 minutes, so I, I listen, <laughs> I listen to your, your talking, yeah. sure. and thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sangu. nice to meet you, and thank you for coming again, I appreciate it, and we appreciate it. So our next speaker is Myung. Welcome, welcome to welcome <laughs> to our English Zoom meeting. Sangun, brother Sangun, mm. he is very familiar one. Uh, he is a member of uh, our youth group, uh, Lambsgate. Yeah, he is a uh, kind of a senior <laughs> in that group, as I know. Yeah. So also he, uh, uh, maybe last year, uh, so he he'd been in in stage. Yeah, to tour with the youth groups of our church. Yeah, yeah. So he liked, he liked to speak and, you know, express the God's word <laughs> by English. Yeah, welcome, yeah. Okay, uh, so today's title is The Flow of Life and Change, mm. the, this chapter. So also the birth from the Genesis chapter two, okay? Mm. So you know, every day we eating, yeah? Mm. So can you count how many times we eat in a day? Four times, four times. <laughs> just four. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, so eat, drink, and we eat uh, the kind of snacks, including that we cannot count, yeah? How many times we eat, actually, I think, yeah? So eating is our uh, main duty. Do you know that? Yeah, eating. So eating, playing, eating, resting, eating, sleeping, and eating, the schooling, and working, eating, making money, like that, yeah. So all things which is created, Mm, grows and change while they are eating and resting. Mm. So without eating, the living things die despite of their perfect structure of life. Yeah. Mm. Likewise, machine can't move without oil. Yeah. So it is a matter of course that man dies without eating. Mm. This is key point, key word, eating. <laughs> In spiritually, it's the same one, yeah? So the most important thing is eating. So eating makes flows and change, a transformation. So eating enables us to go through all kinds of courses in our lives. Mm. So courses, the process, we, have, we can meet the, the hardship and difficulties, the kind of sufferings or kind of a, a broken relationship, yeah? We, can meet many kinds of courses in our lives. 
So the most important thing is eating. So eating uh, means listening to the Lord's word day and night. You know that? The Psalm, the chapter 1 says, David says, those who recite the Lord's instructions, they bear at the right time. Uh, like a tree replanted by streams of water. You know that? The Psalm first, uh, chapter 1. So why we are here actually? Hmm? Why we are here? <laughs> Daniel, why you come here in the morning, early morning here? Hmm. Mm, oh, yeah. Yeah. A great good student, isn't he? Mm. It's actually, it's not easy to come early morning every Sunday as a student. Or also, the, the first week of uh, uh, March, yeah, it's very kind of a difficult season for students to get up early in the morning. So, actually, we here, we are here to encourage encourage you and me yeah, to eat, recite, listen to his word day and night. Mm. So what do you think? What, what does it mean, the day and night? Mm. So how can we just uh, recite the uh, Lord's word day and night? Yeah, so it means we uh, love the word, yeah, love. So the primary of our mm, day and night. Our living is listening and knowing his word. It's our primary. Yeah. So Israelites across the actually Red Sea in the Old Testament. So uh, that side of the river is the land of curse, but uh, this side is the land of blessing. Yeah. So water has two concepts, curse or blessing. Hmm. Which one, which area do you want to be, do you want to belong to? <laughs> yeah, so how can, how can we get the blessing? Yeah. Mm. So uh, when, as we water of life, we get the blessing, but uh, we uh, drink the water of uh, knowledge, knowledge of good and evil, we can be in curses like that. So, so we can see some words. Isaiah uh, chapter 43, verse 20. So, the beasts of the field, the jackals and the ostrich will honor me because I have put water in the desert and the streams in the wilderness to give water to my people, my chosen ones. These people whom I formed for myself, whom will recount my pra praise. Yeah, so actually as I see these verses, wow, I'm kind of beast, I'm kind of jackals, I'm kind of ostrich, <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah, but I'm, I can now honor uh, his, his word, my Lord, yeah, because he put me in the water, in the streams, in the wilderness, yeah, so cause he gave water to me so I drank abundantly so I'm now very uh, free so I'm relaxed yeah so the water in the desert is life yeah so in America you know the state of California especially the the LA yeah Los Angeles so actually I heard the uh, LA was a uh, desert yeah desert dry yeah dry land so, but uh, they brought the water there at the, the LA becomes fertile to produce all kinds of uh, delicious fruits. Yeah, so it became the new, new foundation. So, uh, so it, uh, the most important thing is water. Even in desert, it can be changed, yeah, into fertile, yeah, into good soil, yeah. Also, Psalm uh, chapter uh, three, uh, 33, verse 8, They feast on the bounty of your house. You let them drink from your liver of uh, pure joy. Mm. So God gave, God gives us the pure, the water of pure joy. Yeah. Also, Ezekiel uh, 
uh, chapter 47, verse 1, from under the temple just threshold, water was flowing, means the river of grace flows. Yeah, so the entrance of a temple, the, thread, uh, the temple just threshold, threshold, the water was flowing. So the water means of uh, the river of grace, the river of grace flows. Unless there comes anything from the temple of God, all things dried and died, actually. So even <laughs> we come in <coughs> church every Sunday, we cannot drink the enough uh, water of life. We just uh, withdraw yeah, and die and dry it. Yeah? Also, the second item, the jewel. The jewel means change. So actually, our church, our ultimate society, is a changed society through the process, through the all kinds of courses, which is not just made. Yeah? So where there is a water, transformation, change comes. So if you want to change, or so you want to be transformed, the answer is just uh, what? Just the drinking water? eating water. It's just simple. Mm. So even though we are weak, like dust and earth, this earth goes through the transformation and then have to be changed, the thing not attacked in eternally. So in our life, the boundaries, so many things attack us, yeah, to grow well and, you know, to be matured like that. So, so if we drink Abundantly, the word of life, we can be strong, yeah, not be attacked by Satan, by the deceit. So God requires us the change. God, God wants us to be changed, actually, to win absolutely, and not destroy it, whatever attacks come to us, yeah. So we can be defensive. We can win, absolutely. So we must go through the course, go through the process, the process of life. Do you like being in the process of life? <laughs> you like that? No. no? You, you, want, you want to have uh, some part time and be prepared. Oh. It's a, it's a, it's a ah, process. I, okay. you, I think process makes you, I think going through rough times makes you a better person. That's, That's right. right. That's so exactly it. <laughs> That's the key point, yeah. You know that already, yeah? You know that the answer, yeah. So God wants us to go through, to go through the process, yeah? So without the process, there's no change, no transformation, actually, you know? So we should be changed into a such a being to rule Satan and even the angel eternally. So, so why? So David uh, uh, just uh, sing the recite, recite uh, God's word and the uh, Lord's instruction, yeah, day and night. So because we have to rule the Satan and even the angel completely. So like uh, Abraham and Jacob, uh, so you know the Abraham and Jacob, yeah? Jacob, yeah, the ancestor of our faith, yeah. So also, they are, they were treated through the process, yeah. They all day long, all their lives, they were treated, yeah, mm, by God, and um, completely changed <laughs> to Abraham and Jacob. So without the process, without the co uh, courses, no changed person, yeah. Jesus also has resurrected through the process. Yeah. So Jesus also uh, accomplished the resurrection through his uh, cross, through the death of cross. Yeah. Likewise, the cross um, that is the um, head for the perfect this. You know that. Yeah. So only the change transformation is completed. So we had for the transformation, change. Even we go through the process at the moment. So we know the answer, like Abraham and Jacob had changed completely. They bless others like that. 
the, the third item, blessing of new covenant. New covenant means uh, incarnation. Mm. In the heavy pressure, in the heavy pressure, Jesus goes to resurrection. Yeah. So even Jesus, the Son of God, without his pressure, his courses, he cannot uh, uh, attain the, his resurrection. Yeah. We also go the way of transformation and becoming jewel. Do you like a jewelry? His song? Do you like a jewelry? <laughs> Diamond or ruby kind of thing? Yeah, so <laughs> after going through the uh, process, we, we are to be changed and become a jewel. Yeah? Like a person, like a jewel. Yeah? Mm. That jewel becomes finally new society. Yeah, so the elements of a new society is a changed person, transformed person. The jewel. Mm. The fact that the world becomes flesh is eternal one. Mm. Do you know? Do you believe the world becomes flesh? World becomes man like Jesus. In your life. You want to. Yeah. Oh, you want mm. to like mm. Jesus. Jesus. The world becomes flesh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The world becomes of uh, himself. Yeah. It's uh, eternal one. The world becomes itself in the flesh, which God mm, desires. Yeah, desires. Yeah. In Old Testament, the Surah Moses, God, uh, how can how can he carve the, in the stone? Yeah, his uh, commandment, his word, his law. Yeah. But nowadays, in New Testament, like Jesus, God wants us carve in our heart his word, his commandment. Yeah. Mm. So now Satan can touch and attack no longer because word becomes ourselves like Jesus. Yeah? Mm. The blessing uh new, the blessing of new covenant is the one of incarnation. Mm. So new covenant means the word becomes flesh. Mm. What is the difference of Old Testament and New Testament? The Huamo, Huamo, can you say <laughs> what is the difference of a New Testament and Old Testament? Hmm. New Covenant, Shinyak and Kuyak. Um, <clears throat> That's right. Yeah, historically we can say that. Um, also, we can say that the blessing of a new covenant is one of incarnation. Yeah, the world becomes flesh. Yeah, world becomes ourselves. Mm. New covenant means the world becomes flesh, not like the law commandment in the Old Testament. Yeah, but God's word become man. So it is enormous one, enormous thing, isn't it? Yeah, the world. The beautiful world, the, the nature of the world, become ourselves. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. So we are under that blessing at the moment. So we can't compare Old Testament and New Testament. God wants to reproduce the Bible. That means God wants that his word is expressed and produced by my position to God, before God. Mm. So, <laughs> so you know the Bible, the Bible. So even though there is a Bible, God wants us to write a new Bible means eh? new things mm, expressed and produced by our position before God. So God's goal is that man becomes incarnated. Why? Why God's, God wants us to be incarnated? Why is it God's goal? What do you think? Mm, his word actually uh, eventually conquer, conquer the Satan. Yeah, conquer the Satan, which is not just uh, made, but uh, we have to go through the process yeah, to conquer the Satan. So as we are incarnated, we have to be in the process. Mm. The process of flowing of water the course of metabolism. So you know the 
the metabolism of our body, you know that. So God's life and my life have to metabolize eh, in our body. So God's word, the, the nature of God and the nature of my flesh has to be metabolized. Yeah. So in that courses, we can be changed as God wants us to be yeah, in our lifetime. So how I can say like this one, so also I have some kind of uh, new experience yeah, by listening to his word. I can find myself to be changed a little bit by little and little, you know, step by step. So transformation comes from the listening his word first. So without eating, without listening, his word, there's no process. Uh, we are just attacked, being attacked by Satan, by the knowledge of good and evil, all kinds of uh, attacks, you know? So we cannot uh, win, absolutely. So to, to win and to conquer the deceit of Satan, so eating, listening, and reciting his word day and night is the first one, primary. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay. And now we have Daniel. Hello, uh, I didn't prepare anything for today. I'm sorry for it. And I just uh, noted some things while m while Myung was talking. And it was a little bit difficult to understand <laughs> because uh, 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 uh I noted four things, Eat, eating water for being strong, uh, two things, and process change, change. Uh, I like the word pros, uh, change because uh, since I was young, uh, uh, young, uh, many people uh, Uh, many people expect to me because uh, I was um, uh, a little bit <laughs> uh, the most difficult to understand was God ex is expressed by my position uh i didn't understand it mm. and i and i believe that you will explain me after thank you thank you <laughs> and our next speaker is shajan Hello everyone. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's uh, March, and uh, last week I worked the whole night. It's a night shift, but now it's a change. It's daytime, so uh, it's very fine. I'm very fine because um, I I told I told Michael Liddy, man, human beings are made <laughs> to <laughs> work <laughs> in daytime. <laughs> uh, just like this, we also, human beings, are made to, to eat something. Mm. If we eat anything, then we can, we can do, s we cannot survive. We cannot survive. It's a very basic rule of our life. And, uh, yeah, people, in 
uh, very uh, you know fifty fifty years ago or yeah no 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 a long time ago the Korean people think that the mental disease is not a disease. We think that uh, he's just uh, he or she is just crazy. Uh, it's not a mental disease. But now we are somewhat uh, civilized, and we think now he, she, or he he is sick, even she do a mental disease. So it is a disease have to be treated, but we don't. So. That's why w in the court, in the court, some people insist that they have a mental disease or they are in alcohol <laughs> because I did something wrong. It's not a unconsciously I did. Then the judge, you know, do some sentence, some uh, l lower, lower yeah, 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 lower yeah, lower punishment, yeah. So that's why they say I'm in you know, alcohol, so I'm uh, out of control, or I have a mental disease. Is the doctors to uh, uh, mention, and he they suggest. So, but yeah, it's a change. It so just like this. Oh, uh, it's the only physical things we have to eat, but also we also eat some. Mentally, things also on physical things we eat every day. Uh, between you and I, I mean the uh, relationship. Mm. So, I when we are born, we are a, we were we are we are baby, and then the interactions between the mother and mother and I and father and I, and there is uh, some eating. I mean, there, there may it's a re, re, relationship start, and we eat something, you know, between relationship. So that kind of things makes us our mental healthiness. Just like eating some physical things, we are, we are body changes, physical body changes. Just like we eat the, uh, uh, the mentally, you know, some food <laughs> that. Uh, it forms a men uh, interaction, I mean relationship, it also makes our, s our you know, mental healthy, healthiness. So we have to focus that we, we need to, we, we are, we need to give them something good, something good from other people, from the relationship. Then we are mentally healthy getting better and better but if we uh, something bad <laughs> something bad you know from the relationship then we are mental health is uh, weaker and weaker we and we cannot believe anyone uh, if we is some bad something bad from the relationship because some some sometimes you are deceived by someone you notice that then oh Nobody, I can believe anyone. <laughs> it's the result of the uh, the uh, mental weakness. I mean, you know, it is a result of um, bad things, bad food comes in. So, where then, where we get the good food, good relationship food in our life? I think that it's only in church. It is only in church. In church, we can meet very good person, just like you, Mike. <laughs> 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 oh, just a Daniel and Homo, and we have a chance. We have a chance to be given good food. So uh, I suggest to very you know the person who said I'm a immeasurable and I'm in bad condition, I'm in sick, mentally sick, then why you are there? Why you are there, you know, the not good condition, I mean, you know, the you have to come to the place you can get the blessing. I suggest it's a church. Uh, 
you 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 don't need to say I'm in a misery. I'm in the bad condition and I'm a bad situation. Why you are there? Oh. Yeah, why you are there? You come come to the place you can get the blessing. Yeah. That's the church. I suggest to you, strongly suggest you you have to come to the church. Yeah. It's a meeting, our meeting, isn't it? So uh, good food, I always, always said that good food comes in and good health. And I'm happy, I'm satisfied with my life. But bad food comes in that I'm in a miserable, I'm sick, I don't want to believe anyone. Yeah. So you just come to the place you can get the blessing. That's the point. And automatically you are changes. Your life is changes to be happy. Uh, one day you 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 can find yourself that you confess. I my life is full of joy. I'm I'm very happy. No, yes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that is a church you can get the blessing. Thank you. Thank you very much, Hajin. Very good. And I think that's very important what you said today um, about uh, if we want to change, we need to go to the place where we can get help and we can get the change. So, uh, very good. Uh, now uh, we have two new people that I haven't seen yet. So, uh, can I? Hot mode. <laughs> Don't want to? Okay. He goes first. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors? Okay. Just tell us about yourself and Hello. Uh, I'm Hee Song. Um, I'm happy to do meet new people. Yeah. Um uh <laughs> i had i don't have i don't um uh, prepare. prepare uh so next week um yeah i will i will promise <laughs> um I'm Yongnam University. Uh, have a good day. Next, we have Hamel. Is it Hamel or Wamel? Wamel. Wamel. It's a very Christian name. <laughs> Morning. And um, I haven't prepared anything as well. And. Um, but you know, like I feel very comfortable to be to come here every every Sunday, and I don't have any like uh any like nervousness or yeah. So um, but however, it doesn't mean I shouldn't prepare anything every week. Um, anyway, I've been very busy all week. Well, well, you see, I got my haircut and. Goma, Goma Lee PST, though I did it two weeks ago anyway. And I, well, went to school every, every day, like from Monday to Friday, every, like, from 9 to 4.30 p.m. And I've been very busy. And, and it's like one hour, uh, one hour distance by bus. So it's very, very um, far away. So it's a very long way, and uh, so it's by yeah by bus. So, um, which means, um, mm, very round. It takes about two hours, and it's it makes me very hard and difficult and very tiring, and <coughs> so, um, those are my excuses. And <laughs> and well, but I know the title, 
I know the title for today for Jajin. He uploaded the pile in the band application. So and it I thought it was quite general general idea. So yeah, I mightn't have read it as well. <laughs> um and yeah, so I always feel very comfortable to be here every week as I told before and <coughs> uh, and I'm always happy to be here and listening to your your guys um, English words English word of course God and <coughs> uh, happy to express myself in English and yeah that's all for today Uh, thank you very much. Um, I will finish with today. Um, yes, last night I went to uh, my friend's, um, there was a storytelling contest in downtown. And the my friend wanted me to go, so I said okay. And he, um, the topic was how you started to be unlucky and then turned out to be lucky. And I thought of something that happened to me in high school. Uh, do you know divine intervention? Divine intervention? Um, like, you don't do something and you were kind of angry about it or upset, but it turned out to be a good thing. So it started bad but ended up good and you don't know why so um, but this story uh, it reminded me of something that happened to me in high school uh, my car broke down and that was so my next door neighbor uh, drove me from school and back to school so yeah and for one week so Monday Tuesday Wednesday uh, she drove me to school I drove and she drove me back well, I was supposed to drive with her on Thursday, or go with her on Thursday, but my friends wanted to go and play tennis after high school. So I said, uh, I don't know, I don't want to go, but yeah, okay, fine, I'll go. And I told my friend, Missy, that, hey, I'm going to be with my other friends, so I'll get a ride from them after school. And she said, okay. So I go to, uh, we go to tennis, and I come back and I get into my house and my mom is crying and I was like what's wrong and I said and she was so happy to see me so happy to see me and I said what's going on and she said Missy was in a bad bad car crash she was in a bad accident it was her and her other friend um, she did not die but she was really, really hurt. And I usually sit in the back seat of their car on the way back from school and to school. Um, she was not a good driver. <laughs> and she was speeding, and she ran stop sign, and she slammed into a car and rolled it over and flipped over. And where I was going to be sitting was completely flat. Like the back seats the hood was completely flat so my mom I did not tell my mom that I was going to play tennis I so she thought I was in the car they did not she didn't no, so she really was mad at me for that <laughs> but I understood why and I said no everything's I'm fine I'm not hurt so I'm, you know I did not have a phone back then I just didn't think to get in touch but um, no, I just like it was a similar story to my friend's story, and it was like um, divine intervention. I don't know why I said, "Okay, yeah, I'll go with them." You know, it was because to play tennis, but I normally don't play tennis with them after high school on Thursdays. It's usually on the weekends or whatever. But you know, I just thought there's a reason for everything, and and you know, something like that made me think. Wow, why am I here? 
you know, it made me wonder why. So, okay, that's my story today. Come on, Thank you. Divine intervention. Yep. Thank you. Ah, okay, yeah. Um, so, thank you very much for everybody coming. Um, I would like to welcome you two members. Uh, thank you, and thank you, Myung, for your speech. And Myung's daughter and son graduated from college, so. Oh, that, oh is that your son? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Ah, okay, good. Ah, okay. Freshman. Oh wow! Wow! Oh okay. Very busy. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay. Good. And thank you, Daniel. Very much. Good to see you again. And Huamo. 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 Lip piercing. Ah. Oh. Okay. They put like st stuff on it first, yeah. Mm -hmm. I never had piercing or a tattoo, but my <laughs> you should. Okay, Jesus on the back or <laughs> no? Okay, very good. So again, thank you everybody. Uh, let's go downstairs. Yeah. Right. Annyeong. All right, bye bye.